Hey, how you guys doing? Silly Detective is back again, and this time she's wearing fake eyelashes, which is bothering the hell out of her. But I hope you guys like the earrings. I got these specifically for fall. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the top seven urban legends of Utah. The first one is Bear Lake Monster. It seems like every single state has some kind of monster. Have you guys noticed that? Like, there was the one in Washington, and I'm pretty... No, there wasn't one in Oregon. I don't think so. This legend goes all the way back to 1868, where Joseph C. Rich, he claimed he had seen a monster, claimed a bunch of stories saying that, hey, there's this monster, it's in this lake, blah. He has since said that that was a lie, that he didn't actually, but even so that he said that, hey, all these stories that I've told you was a lie, they still seem to believe that there is a monster out there and apparently some people have seen it and said that it looks like the Loch Ness Monster from the one in Scotland. I don't really believe that one because I think people are just like, oh, there's a stick. It must be the monster of Bear Lake. Number two, the hobbits that live in, wait, is that correct? In Sugar House. Okay, well, apparently there's a bunch of little tiny homes in this area and apparently these hobbits are magical and worship the devil worship oh my goodness i just now did that these evil creatures worship oh my goodness worship the devil these tiny homes originally housed birds not people and apparently it's all man-made it is a guy who had these little bird houses and then put them all around the property and there is little people inside them that he put in there. So apparently it's an urban legend that there is actual little people in there, but he put them there, if that makes any sense. Number three, the Utah girl who lost her hand. Okay guys, so this is like a crazy story. So basically what happened is that this Utah little girl decided that she wanted to play mechanic and she was hitting the family car with a hammer. The dad was so furious that he started to beat her hands with the hammer that she was using and ended up beating her hands until two fingers came off. And there was so much tissue, nerve, bone, all this damage to her hands that when the girl went to the hospital, she had to undergo surgery to get her hands taken away because they could not save it. Allegedly, the mother did not press charges because the father was just acting as a father should, apparently, adding discipline, which that is not good. That That is not how you handle it. You ground them, you take away things, you don't hit a kid's hand until it literally fingers fall off. But if you're as frustrated as I am about this whole thing, apparently this case was given to a reporter in 1986 and he actually did research about this and it turns out there was no such child that had that type of beating. He asked the hospital that is in that town where this supposedly took place and it never happened. That child was never a patient. Okay, number four, whale carcass. Literally, that's what it is. It's a, it's a whale carcass in a farming ton. Farming ton? Farming ton. In December 2014, a farmer found a dead whale. So basically what happened was that this one site posted it on a make-believe site and someone else saw it and they thought it was real and it ended up going viral and apparently some people um, thought this made sense because the Great Salt Lakes, whales will go there. So apparently that made sense that that would even be a thing. And sometimes the lake is too shallow for those creatures and they would get beached and they would die. But the Sheriff's Department has said that this was not true. Number five is the Disneyland hearse. Basically there is an old horse drawn horse hearse. An old horse drawn hearse. That is a tongue twister that sits at the entrance of the haunted mansion in Disneyland where it was used to transport a young boy to his funeral. So it's not sure about how this legend has started. It has been determined that the Disneyland hearse was done up in 1890 and the child died in 1877. So there was no way that that child could have been 
moved in that hearse when it wasn't done until like, you know, years later. Number six, it is a tongue twister. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here of what the name of this forest is. But apparently if you take a piece of this forest, like a piece of bark, a leaf or anything like that, you take it out of the forest and you take it home with you, you will suffer from bad luck that is due to an ancient curse. So apparently the state park has received many letters that have had pieces of that forest brought back and in the letters of them apologizing and explaining that once they took that back, many of them have lost their homes, lost their jobs, suffered from accidents, and so on and so forth. So it is illegal to take anything from the state park, including pieces of wood, but there is no proof that this curse had anything to do with it of these people who had misfortunes and so on. Number seven, I actually reread this while I was at work because I found it so interesting. A teen who died in a tanning bed, the teen who was in the tanning bed for so long that her organs literally cooked inside of her. The story goes that a 17 year old teen who won a trip to Hawaii wanted to get a tan before her trip, went to the tanning parlor, was supposed to only be in there for 30 minutes. So because she wanted a different tan, she went to many different tanning places that day she went to seven different tanning places to get the tan that she wanted she ended up at the utah medical center blind and her organs were like shutting down because she literally had cooked herself in those tanning beds and apparently a woman wrote to a person in a newspaper that has a segment called uh, dear abby and explained about this and that the person who does dear abby uh, she looked into it and apparently this never happened like this teen never went in there and had this kind of like experience happen so what do you guys think Th these are a bit trickier some of these have been like oh they're not true but then other ones they say oh we are true so which do you think are true what do you guys think let me know in the down in the comments below make sure you like comment subscribe i will keep you guys updated um november trip is coming up pretty close so i can't wait to get these videos popping out for you guys these haunted ones i really want to do i'm so excited about that i i can't wait to go to long beach to do that one anyway i'll see you guys next week my new upload schedule that was another thing i'm supposed to tell you guys uh my new upload schedule is gonna be tuesdays and fridays not mondays and fridays because i keep missing monday <laughs> so it just seems to make it easier just to do it that way but yeah i will see you guys next time stay spooky you guys and i will see you guys next time Bye bye